Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Okay, we're happy with the cutout and our bearing bolt up and all of that and how this thing actually fits back in here. Now what we need to do is we have four quarter 20 hole patterns in here for other accessories that mount on the top of this when it's fully assembled. There's some other attachments that attach to this. So we need to incorporate those holes into this plate here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the mill and we're going to, I've already ran the tap in here to clean them out a little bit because the, remember the holes were tapped from half inch out here and some of the holes actually I need to run the tap in so I was a little bit more comfortable on, on screwing this uh, set screw. And what I'm doing, I'm putting the set screw in upside down so that Pretty hard to do from this side here. Uh, okay. Okay, we got the set screw screwed in there. We've got our 3 8 call it in here because we didn't have enough room with our drill chuck. And we're going to bring our coaxial indicator in here. And just lightly tighten that set screw on there. We don't want to mess up that shank. Okay, we have just enough room in here with the travel all the way back. So we're, we're doing good there. I'm just going to make sure that... Okay, that's good. All right, we're going to take and I'm going to crank the table in here. Make sure that's in the point there. Okay, with the center drill and the cup point, which the cup point is very, very accurate on, on these stainless steel set screws that I have here. And now we can put the spindle in neutral. I pre-aligned this hole pretty much by eyeball with just my tap follower on here. And we may have to adjust this a little bit there. We weren't getting too much motion here out of this. There we go. Okay, it looks like I'm within about five thousandths here. All right, so we're going to fire this thing up. And then I can run it on fast here. All right, we're going to crank it side to side first. That's more, there's less. Very, very little right there to get in there. All right. Now we're going to go up and down. All right, we're happy with that. All right, now we're going to crank this back. We're going to pull out the set screw. We're going to mount our plate in there, and we're going to drill a hole in our plate for the tap size for the quarter 20. Okay, we're lined up on that hole now, and we've got the plate bolted in. We went ahead and took uh, two nuts and put them on our bolt so we wouldn't have to thread them in so far because it's the only 516 socket heads we had. Now I'm just going to drill all the tap size holes for these quarter 20s and then I'm going to tap them in um, over in the bridge port. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and zero in on each of the other three there and, and take care of those. Alright, let's go ahead and we're, we're going to pull this off and we're coming up to our last hole. Okay. 
Okay. Put that in there. Crank it on over. Now these two bottom ones were real close up and down within five thousandths and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that these will probably be pretty close to the same up and down and just a little bit just from side to side. All right, that's, by eyeball that's close enough. We roll it around by hand. Okay, about 25 thousandths it looks like. Okay, that's side to side. Okay, I like that right there. All right, now we're going to take the plate over and we're going to uh, chamfer the holes both sides and give them a quarter 20 thread there. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick four, maybe five places to go ahead and drill and countersink for additional holding power for this plate to be mounted to the casting where we see fit. Okay, we went ahead and we laid out a pattern 5 eighths of an inch in from the top, from the sides, one inch down between two holes on this side and the same thing on this side and one in the center. So we're going to add five holding uh, screw holes. So we're going to drill, we're going to counter bore because I have uh, 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 one of the fans give me a, a set and it happens to be a good size in there. So I'm going to give it a try. It's going to be a nice tool. Uh, so we'll draw the pilot is uh, right around 157 or so um, And then we're gonna give it about oh Probably 350 on the depth and then we'll drill through with a 64th clearance for the uh, cap screws And that's that's how we'll hold this plate down. So we're already zeroed in on our first hole there with the uh, tap follower and we zeroed everything out Okay and uh, we can go ahead and speed this up a bit.
There we go. Okay, now we're going to slow it down for the uh, the counter bore. All right, let's uh, let's check and see if we got a good guide. That feels pretty good. Let's blow it out. So. We All right, I like that. Uh, we're gonna set our dial to zero right there just so we keep track before we get started. All right, we're gonna keep plenty of lubrication on here. We just got our hand on the handle of the quill. Well, came down on top of that chip. There's 200. <clears throat> 300. And there's 350. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put in the clearance hole. We'll just leave it this speed as well. Okay. And let's blow it out here. Okay, and I think we got a screw. I yeah, it should it it I might hit, but yeah, it hits before it goes all the way down. But we can check the depth of the head that way, and that's gonna be good. I like that. That way nothing is above this surface here in case any of the mountings for these quarter 20s got to come across here it'll have clearance all right we're going to go ahead and do our other four and then get back to mounting this on the uh, machine and taking care of the drilled and tapped holes on the uh, casting itself all right we got our plate mounted up here all of everything is deburred and clean is mounted up there solid now we're going to go ahead and we're going to drill down and drill the minor minor diameter for the 5 16 tap in each of those holes and we've already we've zeroed this out so we're ready to go so we're going to get our drill chuck in here and set up our drill we're going to drill it we're going to drill them all one inch deep and uh, these two down at the bottom actually might it's kind of hard to say they might go all the way through uh, or a partial but the top ones there are in solid mass all the way across. All right, um, I'm gonna have to step in front of you to change out the chuck, so. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Let's see. There we go, that's pretty good speed right there. Okay. First hole. So we go in and just feel our touch. All right, now we'll set our dial to zero here. All right. Now we're just hand feeding it in. There's a quarter inch. Half an inch.
three quarters of an inch. There's one inch. All right, now this hole here is uh, one and three eighths over. So we go, there's a quarter, half, three quarter. There's one inch, one and a quarter, and 125, all right? And same height. Just visually making sure that it's zero. Okay, we come in and touch. We're at zero there. There's a quarter. There's a half. Three quarter. And one. Okay, we're one inch down to the next hole. One eighth, quarter, three eighths, half, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths, and one inch. The up and down dial is by eighths. All right, and we crank it in a little bit. Another visual with our mirror. Okay, we're center. Come in, there's zero. There's a quarter. See, we just went through right there. Yep, and we can see it on the inside. All right. Now we're just gonna we're gonna go all the way over to the other side. We're just gonna be three eighths on the other side, and we're just gonna go ahead and our we're gonna eyeball this, and then come in and we'll hit our zero on our dial because we have to do it with the backlash out. When you have backlash on your table, you gotta set your zero. And actually, it's gonna be setting a. Uh, and one and one eighth in that direction, which that is what it looks like there. And that looks zero. Okay, come in, there is touching. There's one quarter. And that comes through as well. It's about a half inch of material there. All right, now we gotta come up uh, one inch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and bring it back up go past it and then come up to it and that should be bringing us into it let's see there we are now we're touching one quarter one half Three quarter. There's one inch. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull our tap out here, move our chuck. We're gonna suck all of those holes out of there. 
and I think we're going to hand tap this after sitting down on the ground just so that it's a better working position instead of running our tap in sideways there we'll be able to get a better better uh, tap on it we've got a we've got a hoist on here once again and you know we could tap those holes right here and the whole job would be 100 percent complete in the machine which is um which is surprising that we only had to put it up here once dial it in and everything else on this job was done from here except for the the, the mill work and the bridge port and uh, so here's two mills helping each other to get the job done I'm leaving that plate bolted on there make sure I got clearance before I come sliding over okay we're gonna get it down on the ground here and then we're gonna we're gonna run down to the hardware store because I want to buy some uh, 516 cap screws the right length for this job here We'll be re-picking this up from this position here and setting it up on the blocks. All right, we can grab it by this right here. This is going to be a much better um, direction to hand tap that. Let me move this down a little bit here. All right, we'll be getting a 516 tap, but we're going to be able to do a nice tapping right, right here. Looking over it, and then we can ball it out and suck out the, uh, the chips and so on. And then we're going to go ahead and fit up the uh, lead screw on here and get a picture of what it looks like all assembled. All right, we got a couple tapped here, and that's all we're doing is we're following down through here. This part here is helping guide. I mean, the holes are all centered and everything else, but it does help you keep the vertical. We're just taking one hole at a time. Tapping it out, blowing it out, clearing it out, and putting the uh, the cap screw in. This is ductile iron, so I'm not using any lubricants on cutting my threads. The hole is one inch deep and we're putting three quarter inch long cap screws in there which is more than enough thread contact for the diameter of of cap screw. Alright, we got a couple more and then we'll uh, we'll bolt on the assembly here and we'll give you a final shot before we call it done. Another get her done.
until next time, get her done. <laughs>